What's up YouTube? Tonight we have a full Phobias team. This one was about four months old so I really needed to get a couple of these ones done so congratulations to the winner of that one. Um, I've just got a couple of old ones to cover then I'm pretty much on topic this one so leave your theme team in the comment section. I'm uh, pick, definitely going to pick the winners and uh, such for each video so yeah leave your team teams, uh, theme teams <laughs> below. Um, also for this video it's had a uh, bit of a graphical upgrade as well. We've you know, fix the gifts and stuff and uh, just those uh, little fainted screens are now black uh, as most people requested so enjoy hope you enjoy this one okay so i'm um, leading with galvantula here for uh, arachnophobia uh, fear of spiders right this is a choice banded <laughs> galvantula yes someone yes i'm weird uh it does quite a lot to dust Knox. i'm pretty happy with that one uh dust Knox goes for the quiver dance um here i was thinking well it's probably going to be one of those like uh choice uh, sorry Focus Sash uh, Quiver Dance sets. Um, since I'm banded, I'm going to get out Sped now. I'm not going to be liking uh, any of that. Muck's a pretty bloody good swapping for this, because unless I had like Hidden Power Ground or something, but I thought that would be nice. Um, this is a Assault Vest Muck, and obviously uh, I think Muck, what was Muck would be for? Like, germophobia or something? Um, fear of germs, germy things. Right, so does. Uh, Dust Tox actually swaps out there, and uh, in comes a Dust Snore. Uh, it's going to frisk out my Assault Vest there, which is fine, I guess. Unfortunately, I I went for Power Up Punch because I wanted a boost on my attack there, but that's, that's not on top of that. Um, thinking about here, um, probably uh, will o -Wisp is going to be coming my way, so Unknown would be the best swapping here. <laughs> unknown is Fear of the Unknown, so that's why it's spelled differently. Uh, I couldn't really think of what to name them, so I just did them, because the names are so long on the, uh, on the thing, so yeah. That was the best thing I could do. Okay, so we've got Shadow Sneak here. It's going to hit me like a truck. Um, it probably doesn't even have any EVs in attack either. It's just unknown. I go for the Hidden Power Psychic Choice Specs. It does so much damage. And yeah, that's pretty much all Unknown's going to do. <laughs> um, that's just how it is. Uh, I, d I didn't really want to swap anything else into this at all. It's just be unnecessary damage. And um, I wanted to keep the momentum of this battle going. So uh, down goes little Unknown you. Uh, now, second here, we're going to swap in against this Dark Slops because I've got a couple of... Um, there you go, there's the fades. I'm sure that's much better. So you can see that it's fainted and you can still see the Pokemon now behind it. Okay, now, uh, this was a... This 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 Pokemon was so fucking good. Okay, so I frisk out uh, his island, which I already knew what it was. Um, he's going to Shadow Snake me. It's not going to do too much because I'm actually an Everlight, uh, bulky Everlight set of Pump Kaboo. And this is a... Where's this a fear of Halloween? Okay, so I just will o -Wisp the Dust Knot anyway, just to get some damage, uh, you know, negate that lefties uh, and such. So I've got will o -Wisp on here. I've got Leech Seed as well. I've got Synesis for some health uh, recovery. And uh, then I think I have a dig, uh, Giga Drain just for some, you know, just for a bit of, uh, you know, attacking moves, just to avoid the taunt and a little bit of health recover. Okay, so I get will o -Wisp myself. I was kind of expecting that. Didn't want to really swap any of my other team into that either. Okay, so I'm thinking, well, I can definitely win this because I've got uh, I've got Leech Seed up and I've got the Burn going and I've got Synesis and the, I know the only recovery Dust Knot has is Pain Split or if this one even has it, it hasn't shown it yet, but you know, most of them would would definitely have that. So I'm thinking here, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going fairly well. I'm just going to, what, what should I do here? Should I just Giga Drain or, I decide to Giga Drain. Uh, right there, and uh, in comes a Zangoose. Now, there was, this team had you know quite a few normal Pokemon on it, so uh, you know, Pumpkin Wooly is going to be really handy here. So, uh, Giga Drain does you know, a little bit of uh, damage to Zangoose, which is nice. Uh, I've got that burn damage here. So, uh, Zangoose is going to be able to avoid my Will O Wisp here because you know, obviously it's a toxic boost variant set. It's going to go for a uh, Night Slash here. That does you know a lot of damage to me. Um, I'm able to get the Leech Seed off, which is good though. I was half expecting it to have Knock Off, but uh, I'm glad it didn't because that would have hurt. <laughs> Anyways, so I've got the Leech Seed up. Um, I'm thinking here, what is it going to use next? Is it going to use Night Slash again or is it, you know... Um, I don't think it's got any other stuff to hit me because, it's, you know, it's obviously its main thing is uh, Facade here. So that's, that's all right. Now I'm going to swap Pump Kaboo out here and I'm going to go into Germs because I thought, well, I can at least take a Night Slash badly. I don't want to lose my Pumpkin Boo yet, so he may be quite important to this team. Still does a fair whack of damage to me, uh, but I do get a little bit of health recovery uh, there with the Lee Seed. So I'm actually, uh, what I was thinking is, I could go back to Pumpkin Boo, because I know that thing will probably go for Facade this turn. Uh, you know, it's its best attack on it. So I do the double switch here, um, you know, add a bit of a health cost for Muck there. But I was thinking that, you know, that Toxic damage is starting to rack up uh, here too, and it's, you know, 
and it's still got the leech seed affected on it as well. So I get a free leech seed there, which is great. That's nice. Um, and there's going to be some like toxic damage from the toxic orb. So I know after this turn, uh, Zangoose is going to only last like one one more turn. So it didn't quite take it out, but that's pretty good. Uh, see here, what should I do? I decide to go to Sinesis and he facades actually thinking that I'd go back in a muck, which I nearly did. Um, I was nearly going to be a smart ass and go back in a muck, but I didn't, and I'm able to get all my health back pretty much, uh, pretty much there, uh, as well as the leech here. That's going to take Zangoose out, so that was such a good result there. Um, Zangoose was, was uh, pretty damn scary there. Okay, so he's down. That's uh, that's very good. I, I didn't expect it to work out that well. Um, yeah. The little mind games and stuff was it's pretty fun. All right, out comes the magneton here. I'm thinking, oh, uh, what's it going to use? Uh, could it, you know, could it have HP fire or something like that? It just volt switch me, which wasn't too, but didn't do too much obviously because I resist that. Uh, I'm thinking here, what should I, you know, what should I do? In comes Buffalo, and I'm thinking, oh, maybe this has Sap Sipper. That's why they swapped into it. I just healed myself anyway on this turn because I wanted to. And I was thinking. Oh, well, let's just, I might as well just go for will o here because, you know, it's probably most definitely going to be a physical uh, variant. It goes for Mega Horn there. Uh, it does, you know, it does quite a lot of damage considering, uh, you know, it's a neutral attacking against me. I just will o which is uh, good because now Bufflant is pretty much useless uh, there. Well, it's not useless, it's just uh, attack's going to be uh, much lower than it was before. Okay, so I'm not exactly looking in the greatest shape at the moment. It's uh, going for Mega Horn, I guess. Uh, again, that was... I guess that's really one of the only moves it can hit me with. Uh, I'm just going to heal myself again. I'm really just trying to uh, keep alive in this battle. Uh, you know, this was uh, very handy to have. I, I think if I just would think if that if I lost that to the Zangos before, this would have been like really really terrible. So um, I think. You know, what's he going to do here? I might as well just go for Leech Seeds. By God, let's see if we've got Sap Super or not. Uh, Magneton is going to come in on this one, which is uh, good because, you know, I, uh, if it, I'm not sure what ability to have had Sturdy or Magnet Pull or anything, but if it had Sturdy, that's, you know, that's going to wipe it away, which is great because I do have a little uh, plan later on um, for this Magneton. Okay, so I've got my burn. I'm about half health. I'm thinking, what should I do? I, let's just fire off a... Hell, let's just fire off a will o That'd be my best option. It's going to go for the HP fire, which I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I just live in full health. Bloody Magneton avoids the attack, uh, but I still got like a round of Leech Seed going there for me. Uh, but I know after that, you know, getting that health back, that's not going to be quite enough to uh, negate the burn damage, which is all right because, you know, Pump can do Pump Kaboo. God, I'm having some issues saying that name. Pump Kaboo did really, really great in this uh, battle. So I'm going to go to Grand Ball here. I'm thinking, what should I do? They actually uh, withdraw. I want to test whether it was choice specs or something. So, you know, they did actually withdraw that one there. Um, I went for the power-up punch. Uh, obviously, Dustnall was expecting a fighting type move. I actually really wasn't uh, expecting a swap there. So that was telling me that it may have been Scarfed or Specs or something. I'm not sure because, you know, why wouldn't it just go for like a uh, Flash Cannon or something like that? Or a Steel Base move. That's just probably its best one. So I just play rough here. Um, it doesn't quite kill it, which, you know, sucks. And Dustin was going to use a good old Pain Split and get lots of my health back. Uh, well, lots of my health and give it to him, uh, which makes him uh, really annoyingly pain in the bum. <laughs> so I was thinking, what should I do here? I'm going to have to sacrifice one of my Pokemon uh, to take this thing down. Should I just go for the, keep going for the play roughs? Or I, I really wanted to leave uh, Gramble for last because he was very, quite handy. I was thinking, well, I could, you know, I could sacrifice my Galvantula here because I, I feel that Gramble was more helpful at this stage in the battle. Uh, it's going to go for a Shadow Sneak there, just trying to do a bit more damage to uh, Gramble, I guess. It crits me, which you know, doesn't really do too much at all. So here I'm Choice Banded, and I thought, well, let's just go for Wild Charge again. That's, you know, this is going to do a fair whack of damage to it with a Choice Band and Stab and nice, you know, high base power and stuff. So I go for that, praying that it will kill, but I, it just falls short again. Which is alright, I guess. Um, Dustin can't really make use of Paint Split that much because you know, I'm on quite low health myself there and um, I don't have any like health investment or anything, so it's not going to really get much back. So the best thing with the Dustin did there was Will O' Whisney, so that's uh, good for him. I have s This actually gets Sucker Punch, and unfortunately I'm banded, so I couldn't really make use of that. I knew Dustin would probably go for the Shadow Sneak anyway, so... Yeah, that's how it is. But I got rid of it, which is great. Uh, he's going to Shadow Sneak me again. Obviously, uh, getting rid of a little bit of health there. I'm just going to Wild Charge and finish him off. I know that I'm going to be able to live that burn, which is great there too. So it's good to get him out of the way finally. That was really, really good. Okay, so a little bit of recall there. And I've got about one more turn left of attacking. 
and such. Okay, so out comes the Magneton, and I have to find whether it's going to outspeed me or not. It does outspeed me, so it's definitely like choice scarfed or whatnot, or whatever it is. I'm pretty sure it's choice scarfed to, for it, you know, to outspeed me there. So that's down, but you know, Galvantra did really well in that battle. <laughs> the special variant was great. Now, this is what I've want, been wanting to try out for the whole battle. Okay, so Magneton is going to go for the Flash Cannon here. I've got Sturdy here, so that's nice. So I'm going to be able to take that one, which is good. Uh, there. So, I've got Rock Polish on this set, and I've got weak Weakness Policy, and I made this into a special sweeper with Rock Polish, which is going to be, you know, really fun to use. So I've got my plus two speed. I'm hoping this was enough to, uh, you know, outspeed the Magneton. Wasn't sure what it was running like modest or timid. Uh, just went for it anyway. So I outspeed and I get the earth power off. That destroys Magneton. That was awesome. That was so good. <laughs> um, normally I'd call, uh, oh, I didn't even say, uh, this is like a fear of jewels. So that's an interesting one. Uh, Obviously, Granville was a fear of dogs as well. Um, I think that's all of them. Yeah. Okay, so here comes the Mega Ordino. I knew that I couldn't really do much to this, so I just went for the best stab attack that I had, uh, being Moonblast. And, you know, it does fair damage, uh, considering, I mean, it doesn't really have a lot of special attack, you know, even after weakness positive. Okay, so it's got to finish me off there with the double edge uh, there. But that was good. I got past that Magneton. That was very important. So I'm down to my last two pokes. They've got three left, but that Dust Tox isn't in very good shape. So I did save Grand Ball for this moment, and I'm very glad that I did. So here I decided just to go, what, you know, what should I do? Should I just go for Facade? I just went for that. That was my best option. I could have gone for Power Up Punch there, but yeah, I, I didn't want to. I just wanted to get rid of that. So, you know, I could have. Anyway, so there's two Pokemon left, being the Bufflant and the Mega Ordino. Out comes the Bufflant. I was thinking, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get outsped here, what EVs they're running on this. Even with the quick feed up, you know, I wasn't 100% sure what they're running. And I, I do actually outspeed them with the close combat, and that takes them out, which is good. Um, it could have, you know, it probably was like a choice band or set. That's normally what they run and uh, such. So, I've got two pokes left. Uh, the mucks, uh, you know, sit and wait in there unless Granbull doesn't finish the job off. So, we've got the, the Ordina here. Now, I was thinking, let's just go for Facade. It doesn't really matter what I go for. It's going to do lots, you know, a fair amount of damage anyway. Uh, it's going to go for Double Edge against me, and that's going to be enough to take me out there. I've got, I was poisoned anyway. Uh, that's good. So, uh, the last Pokemon that I've got is my Assault Vest Muck. I do have Gunk Shot in here, which is great. Uh, it's just a question whether it's going to be nice to be in hit. So, Aduna sets up the wish. I'm like, oh my god, please do not miss, because this could get really ugly and stally and stuff. And it hits, and the garbage bin hits it straight in the face, and that's Ordino down. Game, set, match. Uh, crit didn't matter there, uh, for sure. It was an Ordino. But that's all, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. hope you enjoyed the, the, just the little adjustments to this one. Um, yeah, leave your theme teams uh, below there. I pretty much explained what all those sets were um, there. If you want to, if you have a theme team and you're not 100% sure that I've done it, uh, just check out the playlist after this video because I've got them all there so you're not repeating the same teams over and over again. That'd be really cool if you could uh, check those ones out. Um, I'm not sure if I'll get it up tomorrow, but I may have another theme up tomorrow, but I want to do a mystery theme team uh, next couple of days or so. That's about all guys, thank you for taking the time every day for watching my videos, peace out.